Hey YouTube, so today we are going to change our character in our game. So if you followed our previous game, last time we made our bullets disappear after 10 seconds and we were able to rotate like so. So as you can see the bullets will start to go there. Pop, pop, pop. And there we are, so... In this tutorial, I thought we could get rid of our character and put a real character on there. So, like, we have Deathstroke here, so maybe, I don't know, we get Spider-Man or something like that and make our character him. However, it won't walk yet because that requires 3D modeling software and then we have to animate. And that may take time and I'm not super... Well, I'm not that good at it, put it that way, so... I'm still learning how to do that, so if we could get one where it automatically walks, then yeah, that would be great, but I don't think we can, so we'll just have him normally walk forward like we do at the moment so far, so yeah, so um, I'm going to use the same website as I used last time, 3dmodels.com, I will post a link in the description, and so we will go to the characters tab, and yeah so we'll look through um, some of these models for here these tech ones they don't have textures or so you may have to make your own texture for them I don't know if it's just mine or not but yeah so um, they are really detailed though I'll give them that um, right I downloaded the Hitachi Dragonov and Kazuya models and they were super detailed but they didn't have textures. Only Hitachi had detail textures, but they were only for his hair. So the rest of the model was grey, but oh well. Um, I figured since we have Deathstroke, which is from the comic book series DC, I figured we could get another one. So if we go back to the back and like um, look for a decent one, we could put Joker in maybe. Um, why not have a Mortal Kombat one? That should be good. Mix it from Mortal Kombat versus DC. Yeah. So, um, oh, there's so many I want. Who to have? Who to have? Who do we want to be? It's either Super Zero, Shang Tsung, or Shao Kahn. But as always, you gotta go with the biggest and the best. But we'll go with the boss bad guy, Shao Kahn. Like so. So, download that, and as you can see, it is in FBX OBJ, which is perfectly okay for hours. Um, some more stuff here, and download that, and I will be back when it is downloaded. So, see you in a minute. Hey guys, so I'm back, and Shellcon is downloaded. I have extracted it from the desktop, and we will go in. And if we make it full screen, as you can see, we have all our different textures. Um, I don't know if I've explained these before, but the diff textures are the standard textures which you want to use. The normal norm ones are the normal maps, which are like bump maps, I think, so you can detect bumps and ridges in him. And the spectre map is the shininess and glossiness of it. So I don't think we'll be using his hammer yet. We may do in the future, though, because that will be a cool idea. Um, but yeah, so... We'll copy the Shao Kahn model, go back into Unity, go to our models folder, and have we set it right, yeah. So we will right click the models and show in Explorer. Um, yeah, so paste it in there like that and wait for Unity to update. Du -du -du -du. Um, also, when you were downloading, I was thinking, if anyone's ever played in Mortal Kombat 9, the new one, now, but when you, you fight in Shao Kahn, he like, throws this green spear and it says Kabunga or something. I thought it'd be really cool for another tutorial that when he, when he fires the fireball, we could like, make it say Kabunga and like, add some sounds into our game. But yeah, leave a comment if you think that's a good idea and I'll stick it in a tutorial because it won't take that long might have to watch some gameplay use audacity or something to record the sound or something but yeah so yeah once it's imported we go into the folder find that we have two shell cans 
Why do we have two shotguns? Go back to the folder. Hmm. Alright, yeah. We have two shotguns because one's an FBX, one's an OBJ. So it really doesn't matter which you get. Just click on it and look for the one which is texture because it'd be so much easier. That looks epic. Well done to whoever ripped or modeled that. It looks really cool. So yeah, we won't use that one because that one... I think it's the OBJ one. I don't know, I can't see. But yeah, we won't use that one because it's not textured and it'll save us a lot of time if we just use that one. So yeah, so if we stick it up in our thing, yeah, we'll call it a thing, and its position is 0, 0, 0, but it is nowhere to be found. So if we double click it, it is way out of sight. There. So we drag it up here, go to our Y view, put it into our scene so we can see, <coughs> like that. And where's he gone? He's up. So if we go to our Z view, bring him down. Zoom in some more, and there we go. So we have a tiny Shao Kahn. Oh, that would be an awesome army. Army of Shao Kahn's chasing after you in the game. <laughs> um, as you can see, his arms are stuck out, so um, I don't know, ask the permission of the owner or change it, not that change his arms to point him flat or something yeah so might be good like so he's not walking around with his arms stuck out but oh well um so as you can see he's a bit small so deathstroke's bigger we want him the same size as deathstroke but bigger because obviously he's going to be bigger so if we go back to deathstroke and click him to see what his input scale was 0 0.02 I'm pretty sure it's the same guy who modelled it, guy or girl, whoever it is. Um, so if we change the say size import, scale factor to the same, it should be the same size roughly. There we go. Same size, but Shao Kahn's a little bigger. I'll give him that in the game. Um, so if we change to 0 0.05, um, hopefully it'll be a tiny bit bigger. Oh, too big. You can just mess around with this, you can like, have giants, but... Don't try, one problem what I usually get a bit is I sit making my character for ages and making this size I think is perfect to turn out that every other character is really tiny in the game. So try to do build your terrain and stuff first so you know. There we go. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so we'll drag Shao Kahn forward a bit like so. And let's see, so, drag him up so he's same place as the character, like so. And let's drag him into the main character's parent, so he's a child, like so. So now if we play it, get rid of the animation, because we don't need that. Play it, and as you can see we have a Shao Kahn sideways, so we don't want that. It's an easy fix, so we just go back into character, click Shao Kahn, and rotate on the Y axis 90. It might be 270, but there we go. We have a walking Shao Kahn. It's not perfect yet, though, but we have a lot of editing to do. So if we go back to the Y axis and put him in the middle of the character, so if we drag the head, wait. Alright, yeah. So if we click the character and get rid of the mesh collider, because we don't need that. Get rid of mesh renderer, like that one. And yeah. And then we delete the head and bring Shao Kahn into the middle more, like so. I don't know where it was, shouldn't have done that. But yeah. Now, um,. If we click our character controller, it is a bit small. So now we now we have an excuse to make it bigger. So if we drag the height taller, like so, bring it up on the y axis so it's centered, like that'll do. Yeah. Um drag Shao Kahn into the middle of that because Yeah, that's perfect. Now if we drag out the 
radius a tiny bit like so just big enough so it's not chopping his arms off or yeah so that's a pretty decent one I think um, just so we aren't chopping his a bit his feet off we'll move it down like one bit now one five yeah that'll do so now if we play we now have a walking Shao Kahn and it's that simple really um, another way we could have done it was we could have positioned Shao Kahn um, and then stuck the character controller and all the scripts back on but this way is just much faster really um, yeah so it'll jump and it'll do everything fire like that it'll jump ha, we have Shao Kahn that's kind of epic yep so um, I'll, first though we're going to move the bullet spawn point because I'm pretty sure he, he doesn't fire from his knees so but like stick it up and put it on his hand or something but make sure it doesn't touch his hand though because if it does the bullets will hit it and we will have a mess like we explained last time so if we like position it there and play boom 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 there we go fire shall gone hello I am Shao Kahn ah. right but there's one problem I've noticed is when we are playing since the sun we've put the sun over one side you can't see Deathstroke's face as you can see in the middle here it's just the sun's there so if we zoom out a bit bring the directional light up like that um, can we see still can't see his face so if we rotate it down a bit around flip it round there we go I think that would do so now if we play we can see Deathstroke's face yay they can have a little fight yeah, yeah. shoot at him die yeah so um, I think that's it really we've added it um, feel free to like add more models to your game like post in the video description and stuff show me your videos and I'll have a look at them all because it's good to see other people's videos because then it gives you inspiration like you could make castles and everything download buildings because this site up here um, ignore that um, it's just something because here it's like bone modeling so you could like do animation and it's like got kicking and fighting I thought it'd be cool if we could put it in our game if yeah so but like this website it's like got architecture so you can like stick a big building or small st temple or a road into your game and like animals make animals into your game so yeah we can just make a walk about or something because that'll be cool um, so the next tutorial we will probably make our bullets destroy objects we want to because I think that'd be quite cool so yeah so thanks for watching please like, comment and subscribe and say bye bye to Shao Kahn. Goodbye.